So in 2008, the county, in conjunction with the Los Alamos National Laboratory, did a renewable energy study to see if we could start adding renewable energy to our portfolio once our debt was paid off and our other resources. Um, then in, in 2010, we got involved with NETO. Now, NETO is the new energy and industrial technology development organization, uh, part of the Japanese government's Ministry of Trade. And they had made arrangements with the U.S. government to do some investments here in, in the United States and New Mexico to do some smart grid research. So we, along with four other utilities in the state, participated in presentations to NETO, who was looking for a location in which to do a demonstration project. The Los Alamos Smart Grid project integrates one megawatt of utility scale PV, 1.8 megawatts of utility scale battery storage system, a smart house, and 1,600 smart meters, all controlled with a state-of-the-art micro EMS system. One of the functions that the, that the Los Alamos DPU has to do is schedule the power needs for all of Los Alamos. And so a day in advance, the DPU has to pre-schedule the power needs for, say, tomorrow. The micro EMS is able to uh, take in the, the PV generation uh, resource. It monitors the, the capabilities of the battery system. Then it monitors the, a targeted feeder area made up of 1,600 customers with smart meters. And it tries to optimize the generation resources to meet the load requirements of, of the target area. Another possible use for the micro EMS system is to improve what's called the load factor. The load factor is the ability to reduce the peaks and fill in the valleys, and so it can do that as well. One of the things that we did on our system that the Japanese were really looking for was to demonstrate high penetration of renewable energy on a residential grid. So we were able to configure our system so that that one megawatt of solar power is fed into one residential feeder and we could demonstrate with that system that 50 to 75 percent of the power on that grid being provided by the solar array. And that's really the heart of the demonstration. You can integrate distribu distributive energy resources to make them firm and dispatchable uh, to make to shift load, uh, to reduce peak, fill in the valleys. And another validation is that you can utilize your energy resources and the energy loads that the system is feeding to initiate demand response. Uh, the micro EMS can, can send a signal to a targeted feeder area uh, so that the customers can either increase demand and reduce demand, and the micro EMS uh, validates that. The history of the electric utility industry has always been we generate power to meet the demand. And uh, you know we build power plants and we run them to meet the demand. And I think the, the grid of the future is going to be a lot different because the sources of supply if they're renewable, like wind and solar, are going to be a lot more variable. And we're going to have a lot less control over meeting uh, demand with our supply. So the future is going to have to have a lot of um, ability to manage the demand as well as manage the supply. So the grid will be talking about the availability of power, and then your appliances will react, or your home energy management systems will be reacting to that to, tr to try to bring the supply and demand into balance in a lot more dynamic environment that we'll have in the future.